Well, this is a special treat here. This is a local neighborhood car show, sort of the inaugural event. And they've had a really great turnout here. A lot of cars that we're familiar with and a lot that we're not. But look at this here, this Mustang. This has a six cylinder. Just talked with the owner. They're looking forward to restoring this soon, fastback. We'll go through some of these here. Was this 05 or 6? 06? XKR. Yeah, it's very sharp. And here we have a 90 Testarossa. Take a look here at the engine bay. You may have seen this one before. Everything looks brand new. Might be familiar with this one here. Morgan, four passenger, call it a flat rad. You can see why. Here's this cool Wrangler. Here's a 308. You might have seen this before as well. GTS. This was originally owned by Buck Owens. Uh, okay. I saw people taking stuff. Yeah. What do we have? A 6 Series BMW. Good looking car. Here's a Cobra here. 427. That means business. Got those knockoff, the spinning type knockoffs there might be probably aluminum wheels, not magnesium on this. So we're gonna take another look all the way down the end. We've got this convertible GT350. It's always fun to leave these here. Uh, not leave these, look at these pictures. Don't leave food in the trunk of your car. Yeah, look at that. The rodents got in there. So here's what it looked like. A Ferrari. This one sounds great, and they all do, of course, but this is a 2020, is it? Oh no, 2013, 458. So that is a spider, so convertible hard top. Here we go, an 89 GT Mustang 5.0 convertible. Look at the interior, it's got that plaid insert. Maybe I can get around the other side. Is that a stick? Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's a five speed. Yeah, that was a big deal 30 years ago and making a comeback now. 911 Carrera 4S. Another Ferrari, what they call that fly yellow. There's some pictures of perhaps other cars that they own. This is a 99 360. Well, that's a good one. The Modena. I wonder if that's a six speed. Let's take a look. It is not. Sixty-six. What is that? Or seven? Let's take a look. No, eight. Sixty-eight. I had a sixty-eight Mustang. So that's a fastback. Yeah, this is super clean. I like this original build sheet or uh, window sticker, really. Came in right to Torrance. Automatic. Good looking car. And I know this car too, GT350. He owns this Daytona, the Shelby Coupe as well. 
you can find uh, this car here online. It's got a website and so forth. Let's take a look. That's the way to do it. The winds are going and the orange Jeep. Yeah, this should be fun. There we go. I didn't know you had this one too. How long have you had that? That? Uh, eight years. And what do you do with it? Check this out. Check out this Daytona Cobra Coupe. Do you? Oh, I guess I just want to check it out. out. Yeah, so I've seen this car on the road quite a few times. Yeah, that's a serious machine. 66 convertible exactly like the one i had and sold last year except this is a big block so same color side pipes four speed but that's a big block there here's an e-type i've not seen this car before this is a 68 probably it's not a 67 you can tell by the headlights yeah 68 you can see here, the 67, the, the headlights here um, stick up higher. You can't get the headlight covers on. He's in, he's in. So the 67 and earlier you could. Then they have the rocker switches instead of the toggle switches. Look at this Roadrunner. So he has, I think, four or five of the cars here today. This looks like a Hemi. It's an automatic. I'll find the owner here. Maybe, maybe we can talk to him a little bit later. So what is this, 68? 69. Maybe the lowest mileage matching numbers unrestored survivor, 1170 miles? Wow. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. Here's a GTO. What it looks like, is that a 70? 69 GTO. Four speed, triple black. Cool car, got the Original California, those blue plates. Thank you so much. 57, fuel injected. Bel Air, yeah, that's top of the line for 57. Convertible, good looking car. Another Ferrari, Testarossa. This is 80, an 88 or 9, I believe. No, thank you. No, but I mean, you should be able to 88, that's it. All, all, new, all new construction. All new construction. This gets driven every month, I know for sure. Let's walk around the front here. A hydrant is 100 feet. Check that out. Here's a C3 Vet. It's a 68 or 9. Can't tell yet. 350, side pipes, 69. The fins, so that would be the high horsepower. He's got aluminum intake, fin valve covers. He's got the sticker, it says 300 horse, but he's got these fin valve covers, which uh, would be on the higher horsepower engine. Just a little upgrade. Beautiful blue on blue, automatic. Comfortable car to drive, actually. I've had one of these. Nice looking car. C8. Looks like a spaceship. Look at that interior. Well done. hard to find fault with that. My only comment would be, it doesn't look anything like any Corvette at all in the past. I mean, no styling cues at all. So 
just the way it is. Times are changing. Beautiful 911, great color. It's a stick, GT3. So that's a four liter. It's in 2018. Oh, looks like the windscreen's cracked. But that means business there. Another 911, triple black. It's a 2019 Carrera. Back up just a bit. And another Ferrari. An F430, so that would be right after the 360. This is like an 06 or 05, okay. That might be the first year of the F430, I'm not sure. Someone can tell me in the comments. But I believe there's some other cars on the way. Oh, check this out. I hear it. All right, this Cobra deserves a quick look. It's got that anthracite charcoal gray finish, got the side pipe, satin pipes, those deep dish aluminum wheels, the Willwood brakes, like that Harlequin print on the upholstery. Uh, it's got Shelby signature here. So it's a Superformance. Let's check out this Roush engine. I'm sure that's an aluminum radiator up there. Let's look around like those black stripes with the gray, very subtle. And we have a little bit of information here. So he's talking about this. Don't get your legs on that. 427, 506 horsepower. It's an iron block. I thought it might be aluminum. Quick release, racing filler. Anyway, that's a good looking car. Thank you. time so how was the show today what are your thoughts on the show on the car show uh small but good 
uh, had some interesting cars there and some uh, some high end stuff. You know, uh, well they have uh, had a couple Ferrari three three Ferraris I think was it five? I think so. Five Ferraris. Uh, let's see, and uh, fifty two Morgan. And a Roadrunner, and a GTO, and a 57 um, Chevy Bel Air convertible. Right. And other stuff, I can't remember all of them, but. So which ones? I think uh... maybe, probably, neighborhood of about uh, 20 cars, 20. No, well, it's close to 40. Oh, 40 cars, Close to okay. 40. So what was the one that you m were most surprised about? That was surprised about? <clears throat> mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, well. So oh, there's a, uh, what is it, GT40 Shelby? Oh, Daytona Coupe. Okay, Daytona Coupe, yeah, Shelby. And then uh, Shelby um, uh, Fastback. 350 GT. 350, nice car. Perfect cars, actually. And neighborhood thing, <clears throat> just the local uh, half a dozen streets here in this area. And it was amazing how many nice cars in this area. That's but right, they come out of the woodwork. Some of them. We've never seen before. <laughs> right. So here's the uh, Testarossa there under the cover. I've got the flat rad put away. And uh, yeah, it's a good day. Good event. Yeah, not bad. All not right. Bad. All right. That's it. Next time.